Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. La parole and the chamber hands the floor to the defense team for Nunchi to continue Nunchi with the closing statement presentation. Qui pourra continuer à présenter ses plaidoiries finales. Thank you, Mr. President. Good Notre afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, bon parties, and juges, members of the public. Parties, this this afternoon, public. I'll be presenting Nunchi's case. Je vais présenter les arguments de Nunchi concernant trois des quatre centres de sécurité visés par ce procès. Krang Tachan, Okan Seng et Phnom Kraul. My colleague Victor Kope will then conclude our presentation for Ensuite, today by discussing mon confrère the Maître Kope achèvera S21. notre exposé en évoquant le quatrième centre de sécurité so S21. Tout d'abord, j'aimerais présenter to which we're la thèse de l'accusation à laquelle arguments. nous répondons. And in full loyalty to the Conformément au discours manichéen, l'accusation soutient que les centres de sécurité ont été conçus par le PCK pour torturer secrètement et sadiquement et in fine pour commettre des exécutions illégales à grande échelle. Toutefois, à nouveau, les preuves disponibles n'étayent pas la thèse Des as you heard this week, comme vous l'avez entendu you see in their closing cette brief, semaine et comme vous l'avez vu dans leur mémoire de clôture, les coprocureurs s'appuient essentiellement sur des documents d'origine extrajudiciaire dénués ou plutôt présentant une faible valeur probante. Enough. Ceci ne suffit pas. The stronger Live evidence les preuves that plus solides, à savoir les dépositions faites en personne dans ce prétoire tout au long du procès, démontrent à l'inverse que les centres prisons. de sécurité étaient des prisons illégales. Ces prisons visaient à placer en détention et rééduquer des gens soupçonnés d'avoir commis les the infractions les plus graves contre l'État et ceux dont il était In établi qu'effectivement ils avaient commis de telles infractions. C'était donc légal. Today I'll be presenting our response site by site. Réponse, Although I know at the outset that given the limited time that we have to discuss limité, these three large crime sites, disposons pour I'll be being very ces trois brief and selective crime, in the issues je that we être bref et sélective. However, as you know, Néanmoins, vous le full savez, arguments on each site are in our complet pour chaque site figure dans notre mémoire. Let me start and focus today. On the largest of the three sites, j'aborderai le plus grand des trois sites. Your Honours, as you know, Krangtachan was located in Tramcorp district in the southwest of the city. You know, this center of security was located in the south-west of the city. Now, I'll specifically be beginning with two preliminary issues. First of all, the lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility of the two star civil parties of the Krangtachan trial. The lack of credibility prétendent avoir tout vu et tout savoir. In truth, however, en vérité, cependant, leur récit n'est tout simplement pas plausible. Now, earlier on today, my colleague Liv Savannah had discussed the Supreme Court Chamber's findings on the lack of credibility of the appeal witness. Concerning the lack of credibility of the appeal witness, that chamber said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said that some cities accused Samsiti of murder and others of murder. The Supreme Court said to put Saisen and Mir Soka in perspective with Sam City, pour comparer Saisen et Mir Soka, the accounts of Saisen and Mir Soka go way beyond the Sam City level. Sam City level. Mr. President, 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 Mr. As we detail in our brief, we don't have the time to go into here. Saisen and Mirsoka's accounts 
Les récits de Saïsen et Asoka n'ont pas été livrés sous serment. Ils sont pleins d'exagérations et ils demeurent improbablement vagues. Apparemment, leur déposition a été influencée par d'autres motivations. Bref, ces deux parties civiles sont dépourvues de toute crédibilité ou fiabilité. Autrement dit, Monsieur les juges, vous ne pourrez pas fonder quelque conclusion que ce soit uniquement sur leurs récits. Même si leurs récits étaient corroborés par d'autres preuves, au bout du compte, ces récits en tant que tels ne sont pas fiables. Je passe au deuxième point préliminaire. Il s'agit du manque de fiabilité des preuves documentaires abondamment utilisées par l'accusation concernant non seulement Krang Tachan, mais aussi les coopératives de Trump un autre site de crime que j'aborderai de façon plus détaillée la semaine prochaine. La plupart des documents utilisés par l'accusation font partie de ce qu'il est convenu d'appeler les documents du district de Tramcock. Et encore une fois, dans nos conclusions finales, nous nous exposons en détail les limites que présentent ces documents en tant que preuves. Je ne pourrai aujourd'hui que présenter les dix arguments. De façon résumée. Your Honours. Of the many, many Trump-Cock district records that the co-prosecutors use on Krang-Tachan and Trump-Cock, only one was an original. And this original did not substantiate key prosecution arguments, nor did we, the defense, have access to it. Y avoir the rest accès. of the Tramcock district records Les are copies, de or sont even des copies, copies ou encore of copies. Même des copies, de copies. They're unauthenticated, and as this chamber has cette itself admitted, reconnu, they can never really be authenticated. As such, they are entirely unreliable. unreliable. It's equally disturbing Il est tout aussi that the co-prosecutors did not even bother to try to establish the authenticity of any of the Trump-Cock district records they use. Des It's de their duty to do Pas dans so, un seul cas. as we Or, explain in our brief. De le faire, comme dans nos And the finales. way that they ignore this is a key example La façon dont of what ils my colleague Victor Coppe discussed earlier today. Ce qui a été évoqué And that is par mon that there is an assumption that the co-prosecutor's case is true and does not need to be meaningfully proven. To put it bluntly, Your Honours, if I may, this cannot fly Ceci in a proper court of law. Dans un As it stands, none of the Tramcock district records used by the co-prosecutors, but one, can even be proven to be authentic. Ne peut In any être event, prouvé comme étant all of them, all of cause, them, are out of court evidence. Sont des preuves recueillies dans un cadre This means that they can only Autrement ever dit, have limited probative value, eventuelle valeur especially ne peut when they're not corroborated limitée, by any credible in-court live witness evidence. Aucune And one of the reasons I've spent some time on these two preliminary si issues is that these issues, and I'm talking about civil parties and witness credibility problems, and also the problems of using out-of-court evidence, these issues are examples of problems with the evidence that the co-prosecutors have put points, forward sont des all qui throughout this les problèmes case. Qui entachent les preuves Présentées so par l'accusation durant tout le procès. Nous allons à présent aborder certaines des principales now, first, questions de fait concernant Krum Tachan. Tout d'abord, en termes de structure, les témoignages entendus en cours de procès ont montré que l'échelon suprême du PCK, l'échelon le plus élevé, qui s'est impliqué directement dans les décisions quant au fonctionnement de Craig Tachan, ça a été le secteur 13. Il ne saurait être prouvé, au-delà du présentable, que Tamok, secrétaire de la zone sud-ouest, membre du comité permanent, 
se serait impliqué dans le fonctionnement. Il est encore moins possible et même impossible d'établir que Nuanshia aurait été au courant de ce qui se passe à Kramtachan ou s'il serait impliqué. Is his alleged visits to Kram Tachan. La principale However, preuve à ce sujet, ce sont les supposées visites de Nunchi à Kram Tachan. Quand on regarde les preuves, on constate qu'elles sont trop vagues et insuffisantes, ne juste que pour montrer qu'il y est bien allé, et a fortiori pour prouver qu'il a obtenu des informations pertinentes sur le fonctionnement du centre. Je passe au point suivant, la légalité des arrestations et des placements en détention à Kramtachan. Conformément à la politique de la sécurité et de défense évoquée par mon confrère, les prisonniers de Kramtachan ont été légalement arrêtés et emprisonnés après une enquête véritable. The live evidence from Krang Tachan les témoins entendus dans le traitoire concernant Krang Tachan ont confirmé que les arrestations reposaient sur des considérations légales et factuelles. Cela a montré que souvent il y avait une surveillance avant l'arrestation et que les personnes détenues étaient généralement interrogées sur leurs activités suspectes. Le témoin Wong Sarun est le seul à avoir dit qu'il a été interrogé. Cette femme a dit avoir été interrogée une seule fois sur des activités illégales et sur sa participation à des réseaux d'espions. Elle a été remise en liberté après une semaine. Elle dit ne jamais avoir été maltraitée pendant son interrogatoire ou pendant son placement ultérieur en détention. Now, as for the question Pour ce of torture, qui est de la question de la torture, and this is very important, Your Honours, I have to highlight the fact that there is no reliable live evidence that torture was viable used at dans le traitoire selon quoi la torture aurait été utilisée à Krang Tachan. Premièrement, l'accusation s'appuie lourdement sur une série de documents. Les documents de Tramcock Second, what they do is then rely on the supposedly corroborating evidence, largely featuring the testimony of the unreliable civil parties I sent, who have also just discussed. La déposition de la partie civile Saïsen qui n'est pas fiable. Je n'en ai pas vu. Troisièmement, l'accusation s'appuie sur les déclarations écrites de trois personnes qui n'ont pas déposé. L'une de ces trois personnes est même décédée. Et finalement, la seule remaining evidence est de Vong Sarun, qui a dit que she le seul témoignage restant est celui de Vang Sarun, qui a dit avoir entendu des gens se faire torturer. Elle a dit à la barre qu'elle n'avait pas été maltraitée. Toutefois, la déposition de Vang Sarun sur ce qu'elle dit avoir entendu n'a été corroborée par elle. Hier, l'accusation a avancé que sa déposition confirmait des faits de torture, mais en réalité, sa déposition n'est pas assez précise pour démontrer que les bruits et les conversations qu'elle a entendues étaient bel et bien provoqués par des actes qui, d'un point de vue juridique, seraient considérés comme torture. Mon confrère, Lissovana, a rappelé la définition légale Mr. de la President, this is it. Et voilà, Monsieur le Président, c'est tout. Il n'y a aucune déposition fiable sur des faits de torture no à Kran Tachan. Aucun ancien interrogateur n'a été entendu à l'audience. Les deux anciens gardes qui ont bel et bien été entendus ont fragilisé certaines des vérités acceptées du discours manichéen, à savoir l'idée que l'on mangeait le foie des détenus ou encore que l'on employait des sacs en plastique pour les étouffer. En outre, the evidence shows les that there was a thick plantation between the detention buildings and the interrogation room. La salle d'interrogatoire et les bâtiments servant à la détention des prisonniers. Autrement dit, à l'époque, il aurait été impossible pour les prisonniers de voir ce qui se passait pendant les interrogatoires. En définitive, cela veut dire que vous ne pouvez pas conclure, au-delà de tout doute raisonnable, en s'appuyant sur les preuves disponibles, que des actes de torture auraient été perpétrés à Krantachan.
Turning now then to the factual reason for a person's arrest at Krang Tachan. The reality is that only serious offenders en fait, were detained there. Les we discussed this in our document, document presentation over two years ago, and we discussed this again at length in our closing brief. For example, people were arrested for allegedly participating in a quote-unquote secret struggle within the DK, or for allegedly committing rape. Now, the co-prosecutors, unsurprisingly, try to minimize the nature of the offenses that led people to be detained at Krang As you heard, this week, and as you read in their closing brief, they underscore the arrests for light offences, like stealing food or breaking spoons or hose. However, this is misleading, and it fails to take into account, in particular, two key facts. First, People who were arrested for such offences were repeat offenders. Their arrest typically followed several attempts at re-education, and this is something we indeed detailed at length in our document presentation two years ago. Second, we need once again to keep the context in mind, and this is a context that all of my colleagues have already discussed today. Democratic Kampuchea was in a state of emergency. It suffered food and Il supply shortages. For that reason, DK was legitimately and logically trying to introduce a collectivized way of living through cooperatives, which is something that I'll discuss in more detail next week. But for now, it's important to note that in light of this dramatic situation, even stealing or hiding food or breaking spoons or hose repeatedly may legitimately and often rightfully have been seen as a threat to internal stability since it worsened the shortage crisis. And in any event, as we detail in our brief, there is substantial evidence that most people were detained at Krang due to suspected participation in treason or other serious offences, and not just because of mere fear. Because of that. Next, Your Honours, the co-prosecutors argue that some people were detained at Krang simply because they belonged to a specific category that was allegedly targeted by the CPK. These categories include, for example, Vietnamese, so-called new people, spouses of other detainees, and former Khmer Republic soldiers and officials. However, once again, the evidence shows this claim to be completely false. Only civil party Sai Sen said that there was a detainee from Krang Ta Chan, quote, from Hanoi, unquote. However, this does not even allow us to confirm that the detainee was actually Vietnamese, or even less so, why he was arrested. This is therefore completely insufficient to support the fact that Vietnamese were detained at Krang Ta Chan because of their ethnicity or nationality. Again, it was only the civil party Sai Sen who said uh, something about the arrest of new people at Krang Ta Chan. However, as I've already explained before, his whole evidence has no probative value whatsoever. We also heard the testimony of the witness Vong Sarun, who was arrested following her husband's arrest. However, as I've already discussed, she said that she was interrogated about her own possible involvement in unlawful activities. 
As you can clearly see, Comme on le this voit shows clairement, that the primary motive for her arrest was those son, unlawful activities de détention, and not the fact that she was the wife illicite, of another detainee. Et non pas son statut d'épouse d'un autre détenu. As for the fourth category, Quant à la former Khmer Republic soldiers and officials, soldats who the co-prosecutors have highlighted at length in both their brief and in their oral presentations, we will be having a detailed presentation on this Nous aurons un exposé sur ce point la semaine prochaine. For now, Pour what is clear from the evidence les preuves is that people were arrested at Krang Tachan because of the activities they conducted en à Krang Tachan and not because of their specialized activities. Et non au motif de leur identité particulière. Moving on now to the living présent, and working conditions at Krang Tachan. As we've explained earlier today, and I mentioned a moment ago, Comme je expliqué, Democratic Kampuchea was in a constant state of emergency. Le and fortunately, as a result, the living conditions and security centers were tough, dans les de just like les they were in the rest of the country. However, Your Honours, Toutefois, such hardship was never inflicted by the CPK upon detainees deliberately. Par le PCK On the contrary, evidence Au shows that the CPK tried to improve living conditions. A essayé les conditions de vie. At Krang Tachan, for Krang Tachan, example, example, DDT was sprayed DDT to combat malaria and to reduce the number of sick detainees. Et and this fact alone le is enough to undermine the idea that Krang Tachan was a blunt instrument of death, where Krang conditions Krang of detention were deliberately imposed de with the intention of causing severe harm. Était délibérément it's just not true. Dans de de As for working conditions, only Von Sarun testified about alleged hardship. She stated that she became ill from carrying her. However, her testimony, her testimony is insufficiently detailed to prove that such hardship reaches the legal level required for the crime against humanity of torture or the crime against humanity of enslavement. Le crime contre l'humanité de torture ou de réduction Finally, de l'esclavage d'un point de vue légal. Et enfin, concernant les viols allégués dont font état les coprocureurs, les preuves vous empêchent de conclure au-delà de tout doute raisonnable que remember, cela s'est produit. Rappelez-vous, les dépositions entendues étaient mitigées. Deux anciens gardiens ont nié ces allégations. Seul Saïsen, la partie civile, a insisté he did not witness these acts himself. And as I've discussed multiple times now, Saisen's overall evidence is not reliable. For that reason, Mr. President, you cannot base any findings solely on Saisen's testimony. And since his account is the only one alleging that rape occurred, you accordingly cannot find, again, beyond reasonable doubt, that rape de tout doute indeed raisonnable, occurred effectivement, at Krangtachan. Des viols ont été commis à Krangtachan. Let me now move to présent, discuss the alleged killings, aux exterminations allégées, and enforced disappearances at Krangtachan. Allégées et à Krangtachan. The closing order and the co-prosecutors claim that 15,000 people died at Krangtachan. However, Cependant, there is no credible evidence of executions at Krang Tachan. De cas à Krang Tachan. Only two people deux confirmed that they saw executions or bodies at Krang Tachan. Été ou avoir vu Once des again, Krang Tachan. they are the wholly nouveau, unreliable parties, Sai Sen and Mir Soka. Apart from them, there is not one single individual who witnessed an execution at Krang Tachan. Il Aucun individu qui aurait été témoin d'exécution à Krang Tachan. De surcroît, the prosecutors mentioned this and seen in their brief. They refer to the so-called forensic study conducted by expert Von Vuti on bones allegedly exhumed from Krang Tachan. However, that forensic study was not a proper forensic investigation. N'était pas une expertise légiste en bonne et due forme. Comme indiqué dans notre mémoire et comme 
Vunvuti did not date the bones he analyzed, so we cannot know that they were from the DK. Thus, his study already has low probative value. Rien que cela signifie in any event, however, la valeur de cette it's étude. of no help in en counting cause, the, the number of alleged deaths at Krangta-chan. As nombre you may recall, de décès qui prior to the DK, Krangta-chan used to be a grave site. It was also located Krangta closely within the vicinity of the nearest hospital. Aussi situé à proximité de because of this, local. it's obvious that the bones recovered by Vunvuti could have been people who died of natural causes before or after the decay. Your Honours, as a consequence, there is far more than reasonable doubt that any bones exhumed were really from Krangta-chan. Finally, on Krangta-chan, let me return to the purpose of the security centre. As we explained in our brief, L'objet was primarily a re-education centre. Many detainees were released later on. Once their re-education was complete. And this is clearly what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Secretary Peck Chim meant by a re-education centre. And this is what Trumkov District Indeed, as we've detailed in our brief, the live evidence, in fact, only shows that many people were released from Krangta-chan. Obviously, however, the co-prosecutors ignored this evidence in their brief. This is sufficient to confirm that Krangta-chan was not a place where people were inevitably killed. It was instead a re-education center from which people could dont les gens pouvaient être libérés. Certains, d'ailleurs, l'ont bel et bien été. Your Honours, I will now move on to the second security centre, Je passe au deuxième centre de sécurité, which was located in the northeast of zone nord-est. As you know, Limited evidence is available on this security centre. And conscious of our limited time, we will be focusing primarily on one specific incident that the co-prosecutors emphasise in their case. Therefore, what I'm going to do is begin by very rapidly going through a number of general issues in connection with Okansei before turning to that specific incident. Firstly, as we explain in our brief, what little evidence there is shows that, like everywhere else, arrests and detention at Okansen were factually and legally grounded. In particular, we have some reports which mention the specific reason which led to arrests at Okansen. We have evidence that people were interrogated regarding their suspected activities. Former detainees also testified that they were not mistreated in any way during their detention. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, we know for a fact that there was a review system in place at Okansen. Moreover, the evidence detailed in our brief shows that the detention conditions were not abnormal considering the context at the time. The type of work detainees did did not exceed what is normally required of a person under lawful detention. Mr. President, in your honours, I will now focus the rest of my discussion on only one incident, especially in light of how heavily the co-prosecutors are relying upon it. And this incident, as you might recall, is the alleged arrest and execution of apparently hundreds of Jarai Vietnamese at Okansang. Three witnesses seem to testify about this event. And according to the co-prosecutors, one telegram allegedly proves Nunchia had knowledge of the incident. However, a close examination proves all this to be untrue. 
Let's start with the telegram. Commençons par le telegram. The telegram, which is document, le document E3 slash 240, 240, was sent on the 15th of June, 1977. And it indicates that it was copied to Nunchia, as the co-prosecutors have stressed. Ce cas souligné l'accusation. That telegram, Ce telegram reported the arrest in autonomous sector 107 dans le secteur of, autonome 107 and I quote, de, et je cite, 209 soldats Vietnamese soldiers, Vietnamiens, unquote, fin de citation, most of whom were dont of la Jarai ethnicity. Jarai. These people were carrying guns, pistols, des armes, grenades, des pistolets, des grenades, bayonets, des bayonettes, US des sacs à dos de fabrication américaine, and also a Vietnamese et map. également une carte Now, according to the telegram, they claimed that they le telegram, were, quote, unquote, ces gens ont affirmé être, je cite, des gens no ordinaires et ne plus être des soldats.